The low voltage directive is a European directive that applies a basics level of safety to electrical products across Europe. So all electrical products, including cable, uh, should be uh, checked out and CE marked under the low voltage directive. Uh, the low voltage directive has been active for many years, but it's only a very basic safety level. The new recast directive introduces new requirements on a number of other parties in the chain, for example, distributors and wholesalers. It requires a significantly increased record keeping and traceability, and it also requires ongoing checks by anybody selling cable. At the moment, we think that uh, awareness of the changes is pretty low. Um, I know that some people are beginning to get to grips with this, but certainly in terms of the record keeping side, uh, that they've got a lot, long way to go yet. Under the low voltage directive, there's no such thing as CE certification, and any claim of being CE certified is false. Uh, CE marking under the low voltage directive is a self-declared by the manufacturer. CE marking is a pan-European multi-product mark uh, used to demonstrate that a product has complied with the legal requirements, the minimum legal requirements for sale across Europe. CE marking is a requirement of the low voltage directive, so all electrical products, uh, be it a hair dryer or a, a drill or a, a washing machine or a cable, must be CE marked. Unfortunately, the only people enforcing the CE mark are local trading standards organisations and as we know, they have very few people, limited budget and to be honest, their priorities are elsewhere. So it is up to the industry, the buyers, to check uh, whether the CE mark is, is valid. With the CE marked product should go a written document which is the EC Declaration of Conformity. This is an official statement by the manufacturer that they have completed the checks and have uh, placed the CE mark on the product. Uh, the cable markings are important because they're the only thing that will be left on a cable after installation. All the packaging, the reels, the information, data sheets will have been probably thrown away and the marking remains for the end user. So it's important to, that this is correct, that we have the ability to identify the manufacturer, the original manufacturer, the standards that the cable has been um, uh, made to, and all marks unambiguously so that uh, the, anybody in the future can identify that, that cable exactly. Whilst Transos welcomes any uh, legislation in terms of, uh, of enhancing the safety of products, um, it needs to be understood that the Low Voltage Directive doesn't legislate the use of any standards. It's basically about enhancing the, uh, the quality of the products. Uh, and as such, Tratos would take the view that it, it would be much better if there was third party uh, mandatory legislation in terms of the product standards. We would take the view that because the LVD is self-policed, that it really needs to have some form of uh, third party uh, approval in terms of enforcing the legislation.